What's going on everybody? It's your man Larry, AKA the American Brazilian. Hope you guys are having an awesome day or have, has, have had an awesome day because uh, my day is pretty much over. I just closed down my business for the day and I am heading to the crib. And so I wanted to just share something, but I wanted to ask a question first. And that question is this. Has your responsibility stifled you? Or is responsibility a good thing or a bad thing? Or has responsibility made you a prisoner? Now I'm gonna kind of quantify the reason for those questions. It all stemmed from a conversation that I had with my wife a couple of days ago. And so basically in, in conversation, you know, my wife, uh, she, she's, obviously she's Brazilian and she speaks with her mom we both do we speak with her family a lot uh facebook portal facetime whatever and the last phone call or facetime that we had she posed a question to me she said honey would you consider moving to arasatuba uh, which is her hometown us living there for a little while now, what's interesting is we toyed around with that idea, or at least I had been presenting it to her, something that I had wanted to do or that I want to do, and that is uh, purchase a home for us there. You know, my father-in-law, where well, they have land there. So we thought about, or we're thinking about, and considering strongly purchasing some land or, or getting a, a place. That way, whenever we visit, we can have our own place, so to speak. And we don't need to, but, you know, it'd always be good. it's always good to have your own, you know. It's, it's pretty cool. And then to have homes in different Two different countries is pretty dope but anyway i digress um so in the process of her describing how cool it would be and let me add to this now arasatuba uh, is in uh, it's, a, it's a city in sao paulo state it's about a little larger than half the size of where i am now and I think it's like 475,000 square miles or something like that, a uh, million square miles. So it's big, right? And it's like, a, it looks to be like a big metropolitan city. But the cool part about it is they have less than, the population size rather, is less than 200,000 people. And I thought that was pretty cool, you know, because you see this big city, these big buildings, it's like, okay, but the clicker, the, 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 the kicker rather is their the population size is only like 193,000, which is pretty cool. Well, anyway, in the process of, have, of us having this conversation and she saying all about the, you know the positives that could that we could experience while living there, after she finished, the thing that came out of my mouth is something that I had heard and seen on television. But I never thought that I would repeat it in my own life, and that was simply this. But honey, I have two businesses. We have a home, we have cars, we have things. We like I worked hard to build this stuff. You wanna just let it go? To which she was quiet. She wasn't offended. That's the cool part about my wife. She's she's a very, you know, she my wife is she's matter of fact, but she's very soft-spoken. And, and and very meek and humble, and so she just listened. She said, "Okay." I said, "Well, I said, well, let's compromise." I said, "Maybe because initially we agreed on um, living there two months or either half a year, and then coming back here living half a year." And so you know, at some point, you know, we're believing and we're planning and trying to orchestrate for one of those scenarios to to come to to come to be. Until then, you know, we'll just kind of like keep rocking in the free world and. and allow those plans to unfold but anyway she she, she agreed we find you know we came to a compromise it was okay and so fast forward today i was having a conversation doing business with a guy and he began to tell me a story about uh one of his business partners whose uncle prior to his uncle passing gave him a word of advice and that was this if you are doing something and you desire to do something different you need to go ahead and do that you need to at least try because after this life is over with you won't have another one to, to try that again that's like this is it and it made me think about the conversation that my wife and I had and I thought about the word responsibility 
because in the middle of her speaking, the only thing that I could think about is all of the things that I am responsible for. And when I thought about it, you know, have you ever went to hug somebody and they were physically bigger than you were? Um, their grip obviously was, was understandably stronger than yours. And at some point you begin to release your embrace. But their embrace, a lot of times, it increases because there's no resistance. And the only way to get out of that embrace is to kind of break free, because some people can't take a hint. And I thought about that from a standpoint of responsibility. And I have responsibilities, as I'm sure many of you do. And I have embraced those responsibilities with open arms. But based on the conversation that my wife had and my own personal desires and the conversation that I had today, I can't help but think to even consider doing something like that and finding it a bit difficult to even like do it. Is it a situation now where I am slowly and incrementally releasing the embrace only to find out that the, the responsibility is gripping me and, and, and putting me in more of a bear hug. I thought about the, 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 it's called the frog fable, right? I don't know if any of you, if you all heard of it, but basically it's, it's the concept of boiling a frog alive. And so what it, what it entails is this. If you get a frog, a live frog, and you put that, that, that frog in cold water, you can turn the water up, or turn the heat up rather, little bit by little bit. And unbeknownst to the frog, while it's being cooked alive, it's experiencing some form of cognitive dissonance, which renders it kind of paralyzed, right? So the, 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 the water is getting hot, but in the frog frog's mind, it can't be because when I got in the water, it was cold, so therefore it must still be cold. You know, like cognitive dissonance is when you see something and your mind and what you see it processes it, processes it differently. I think I described that correctly. But anyway, I think, have, have I began to loosen those, loosen my grip on those things? And those things is, is just kind of like <laughs> responsibility, you know, cars, house, business. And I'm not hating on responsibility. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to have the opportunity to live the way I, I live and coming from where I'm from, um, growing up and being exposed to the, the surroundings that, that I did, you know? Um, so I'm not complaining in, 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 by any means, am, am I complaining? But what I am saying is this, I think so many times we get things and we are responsible for those things as we should be only to not be able to release those things when something else, another opportunity presents itself. There could be a better opportunity. And so, I don't know. I, I, I guess I thought about that and I just wanted to share my thoughts because maybe there's somebody out there who, like me, you embrace those responsibilities and, and now they're, they're squeezing you and you're trying to figure out how to make the adjustment. The only, the only thing I can say is figure out a way how to make the adjustment because you can. I'm not advocating you just thwart your responsibility, throw caution to the wind and keep it pushing. But sometimes, just like that scenario with the big person and you being physically, I guess inferior to that person and them squeezing you and tightening their grip when you loosen yours, Sometimes the only way to get free is break free. So you decide, you can figure out how that has to happen. So I I will say this. Yo espero que você concordo totalmente. I hope you fully agree. <laughs> this is Larry. I'm the American Brazilian. Boss Amani, you have a good week and we will talk to you. Até a breve. É verdade. Cha-cha. Beijos. Oh, oh, one last thing. I never remember to say this, but I thought about it today, and so I am coming
coming back to you guys to ask you this. If you like my videos, if you appreciate what we're doing, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time that I post a new video, that we post a new video, you guys will be notified and uh, keep rocking with us. Talk to you later. They better die.